So, the trailer for the upcoming Uncharted movie was finally released yesterday at the time of recording this. And I have some thoughts on it. I don't normally talk about movie trailers on this channel. I don't normally like to. But this is concerning PlayStation. These movie motherfuckers are now entering my wheelhouse. My area of expertise and fandom. And my honest take, the movie doesn't look very good. Even more honest, it kind of looks like shit. It looks like everything I expected it to be. A cold, calculated mimic of Uncharted. And aside from sheer brand recognition and iconography, nothing in this trailer screamed Uncharted to me. From the lack of any personality, to the really strange song choice, it just looks like yet another generic action movie. I'm not going to go in depth into what's in the trailer as far as imagery and story beats. I instead want to talk about this trailer within the context of why I'm so sour about PlayStation's recent obsession with turning some of their IPs into movies and TV shows and how this footage pretty much gives away the mindset and motivation behind it. One of the big things I don't really like about the new PlayStation Productions initiative is that there seems to be this misunderstanding of why these games and franchises are successful and popular. Even with something that seems to have some tiny semblance of promise, like the upcoming Ghost Tsushima movie, they're still removing the key element of these games, interactivity. When you take away the interactivity, you're just left with a group of people trying to mimic what was already done so well. You're stripping away what makes gaming unique. You're taking away why these games are so popular and so successful. With Uncharted, in particularly, you're replacing the terrific writing from Amy Hennig, Neil Druckmann, Josh Schur, and other talented people with generic drivel from a team of hack Hollywood screenwriters. You're taking away Nolan North's funny and very charismatic performance as Nathan Drake and replacing it with Tom Holland, the charisma void wet noodle that is Tom Holland. You're taking away the thrill of participating in the action and replacing it with watching a bunch of weightless CGI fakery. The plain set piece in Uncharted 3 ironically looks less like a video game than the version of it in this in this trailer. And this is why I say it, it's just Uncharted in brand name alone. The characters, iconography, and set pieces are here, but the spirit isn't. And Neil Druckmann also provided a dead giveaway as to who these new PlayStation adaptations are for in his blog post about the trailer. He said, and I quote, In discussions with the film's director, Ruben Flesher, he shared that he made the movie for both hardcore fans of the game and those who are not familiar with the franchise and believe that both will be equally entertained by this incredibly fun and action-packed film." End of quote. It's blindingly obvious from this trailer and that quote that these movies and TV shows aren't going to be designed for the people who are already familiar with and love these properties. They are designed for the normies who have no idea what Uncharted and the like are so that they may be convinced to buy a PlayStation 5 in these games. And the only way they're appealing to fans is through cynical brand recognition. That's why they're throwing elements from Uncharted 2, 3, 4, and I assume more, into a blender just to appease the people who won't look for much substance beyond brand recognition. Sony also did this very recently with the latest Resident Evil movie trailer, where it looks like they just took a bunch of shit from RE1 and RE2 and threw it in a blender and you got a shit smoothie out of it that looks like a fucking fan film. 
you really don't have to look beyond the casting of Tom Holland just to see how cynical and scientifically calculated this whole adaptation farce is. Sony knows most normies will just look at Tom Holland and go, Oh look, it's Tom Holland. He's from Spider-Man. I like Spider-Man. Therefore, I will see this Uncharted movie because I like Spider-Man. Why else would they completely restructure Uncharted to retell Drake's origin story? They're taking a small element that was the flashbacks in Uncharted 3 and stretching them out and adding in a bunch of stuff from the other games just so they have an excuse to cast a name like Tom Holland in the film. Look, I'm all for making some changes for the sake of creativity and time constraints. But they've changed it so much that Sony might as well call this movie something else entirely. But they're not going to, because the name Uncharted sells. Another thing I don't like about this PlayStation Productions crap is that they seem designed to be elaborate and very expensive ads for the PlayStation 5 and the video games more than anything else. There's even an ad for the upcoming remasters of Uncharted 4 and Lost Legacy at the very end of the trailer, and I laughed out loud when I saw it. The people who already know about Uncharted already know this collection is coming. It's just for, again, the normies to go, what's this Uncharted? It's a video game? Well now I want to go buy a PS5 and these games because they're tied to this movie, starring my dream boyfriend Tom Holland. They couldn't make it more obvious what the real intent of these adaptations are, and it's so cynical. I hate it so much. And again, this is yet another pathetic cry from the AAA video game industry to be accepted as a premiere art form alongside movies and TV shows. And ironically and sadly, they're stripping away what makes the art form unique and leaving it without any identity to call its own. I'm not going to pretend that I dislike every video game adaptation out there, but even the very best ones I've seen aren't better than the video games they're based on. So yeah, I don't have much hope for the future of PlayStation Productions. This Uncharted trailer damn near torpedoed all of my small interest in things like The Last of Us Show and the Ghost Tsushima movie. I just, after this trailer, I, I simply just have almost no hope for this anymore. And I was telling this to a friend yesterday when the trailer came out, and she said, damn, you're being really harsh on this. And I feel like I have to be, because PlayStation is choosing to divest money that they could be spending on more exclusive video games and putting this money into these movies and TV shows. So if they're going to take away the possibility of more good video games and replacing that with these movies and TV shows, then I want these movies and TV shows to be as good as they possibly can be. And from ju you know, judging from this trailer, it's not they're not going to be. They're just going to be shallow, cynical mimics of the video games. And that's a damn shame. And on a final note, I miss the days when Led Zeppelin didn't let every goddamn studio use their music in movies and video games. Whenever I think of Uncharted, Ramble On is one of the last fucking things that comes to mind.